we do thematic reports on various topics and advocates can always submit information to us that can be included in the thematic reports. They don't have to come to Washington. They can send it ahead of time. They can also monitor our website to learn about which topics we're focused on so that they know uh, when they can send it particular kinds of information. And of course we have the case processing and the on-site visits that occur. We made an on-site visit to Paraguay two years ago to look at compliance with some cases that had been brought um, and litigated through the inter-American system to the court, as well as some pending cases, all involving indigenous land rights. And a year later, I went back to Paraguay for the transfer of title of ancestral lands back to one of the indigenous communities. And since then, two of the three others have gotten their lands back as well. So at this point, we only have one case that we're waiting on. And all of the complaints that had been brought to the inter-American system will have been resolved in favor of the indigenous peoples. Once we had the hearing approved, um, we found that that actually accelerated some pieces of our work. Um, we got some responses that we had not gotten from the Border Patrol and from the Department of Homeland Security. Um, so we have a, a tour set up of Border Patrol facilities, which is something that we had requested for several years, actually. And maybe not entirely, but we think it is at least in some part due to the fact that they had this public event coming up. Um, so we think that um, there might be some more opportunities like that where there's things that we had already been working on that perhaps are gonna happen more quickly um, as a result uh, of the hearing today. And so we're hoping that um, we'll have some more opportunities like that. If one is not au fait, with the procedure, for instance, in the commission, um, before filing the, really submitting the petition, ask for help. That's, that's very, that's, it's not embarrassing. I mean, we cannot know everything all the time. It's better to ask for the assistance um, to make sure you, that your petition ends up being admissible rather than commission finds that it is not because you have omitted a vital piece of, of information which should be there. In, in relation to the exhaustion of domestic remedies, um, um, I keep on so saying it's not only that. There may be no domestic remedies. There may be domestic remedies which are not uh, um, effective. Right. But it has to be stated clearly and so that the Commission can see this up front. It's better to take your time, ask for help, and double check, double check, double check the petition before submitting it.